All right. I'm doing a video on uh, Tanner's setup. What do you think, buddy? Yeah. He's my little Chawini. Mostly Dotson. I don't know how long. How long do you think he is? I don't know. He weighs, like, like what? Two feet long. I think last time we took him to the vet, he weighed 13 pounds. I think I saw something, I think. Maybe 12, something. Okay. Well, close to 13, I yeah, rammed, so. That's right. Yeah, my wife gets mad at me for that. Um. <laughs> anyways. I was agreeing with you. This is his setup, his gear. This is a, uh, yeah, maybe I should have cleaned this out before I did this video. Uh, this is a Kyriakin Pet Palace. Uh, it is kind of expensive, but I think it's worth it. Um, because, well, when I'm not carrying Tanner around in it, I can uh, use it as a pretty daggone good luggage bag, to be honest. Or put your helmet in it. And... Yeah, it'll fit my helmet. It'll fit one helmet, probably not two, unless they're like half helmets or something. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, this thing, gosh, if I can film this, this thing, yeah, see, it can, it rolls up, it can unzip, you know, let me just do it, just okay. do it. And then you got this net one. Yeah, so technically, he can stay closed in there. Yeah. And if need be, but he doesn't. And then it just rolls up. Tanner doesn't like that, so I leave it open for him. Yeah, he likes to, well, he really likes to be front and center, but... Yeah, if he could, he would be on my shoulders yeah. while I was riding. Like a parrot. Hit <laughs> that right, bud. Um, but then, yeah, the top just unzips. He sits down in there. There's like a cushiony pad. And he's cleaned out because yeah, I've, I've taken him on several it. rides and haven't wiped it out yet. So there's probably a lot of dog fur in there. And then it has, this is what holds them in. And you can make it like yeah. tighter. And yeah, it comes can. with several different... It comes with several straps and things, but I bought some extra straps um, because some of the straps it had had like a Velcro end on them, and I just did not like that. Yeah, I like the hook. Yeah, I like the hook. The hook. Ends. Yeah, the hook and lock or whatever you call that. So I bought like some little things like this. I mean, it cost me like six bucks on Amazon to get a few of them. And then, then there's like little connectors. There's another one over here on this side. Yeah, so you you can put his leash like this. Leash is what's going to keep him from you know, jumping out while you're riding or mm -hmm. whatever. Um, <clears throat> There's the logo. But honestly, even though this will keep them in there, your dog, I would say make sure your dog's comfortable with this, you know. Make sure they're comfortable with riding, that they've, you know what I mean. They kind of, I mean, obviously, there's a learning curve. Yeah. But uh, where did this come from? I don't know. We, what we did was we took them on like slow back yeah. road Take rides. Yeah, take them on itty bitty r rides down the road. Get them make sure they're them. used to it and they're comfortable with it and all that, you know. But then like, so then you got these little areas that you can unzip and it's just more vents. And then they oh, have yeah. little things I that... should have had that. I should have vented that for another day. <laughs> I didn't even, There's I, so I don't even know this stuff. That, yeah, and like it rolls up and has little Velcro things to hold it out of the way. And then it's got one in the back, too. Back here. It's the same thing. Unzips. How do you know this better than me? <laughs> and then holds it out of the way. Then there's some I'm on just the a side. very simple person, so... Yeah, okay. actually... And, this, and, it, and then it folds up here, and... So they can there can be a lot of airflow in there for your pup. Yeah. Is and that right, has, Tanner? Like, a little, uh, you know how you can put, like headphones or something in there but it's it like, just gets you all excited and warm and tingly feeling just thinking about riding <laughs> um so yeah it's got venting it's yeah got... but i thought you can actually because i you can open this up and let your dog if your dog gets comfortable with it let your dog walk in or whatever yeah, yeah. like i said he forgive me i need to <laughs> clean this but yeah jump in and jump out instead of having to go like yeah do the talk. which ours doesn't do that i have to he doesn't like being picked up but i have to pick him up and put him in here um and then it has multiple like connections for straps and it came with a bunch of different straps so you got but we like these that you got connection for strap but also you got these little hooks like little open gaps where you can hook things in as well um see how i strapped it around the uh rear foot peg set on this bike Technically, this bike ain't the best for it, but actually, it does. I'm surprised I've done pretty good. 
I use bungee cords in the back because they just keep a constant tension and I like it. Yeah, that way when you uh, sit on it, the shock give and this will, you know. Yeah, see, on tight. this side, same thing. It's got a little um, cup holder. So Matt gets his pop that he says he doesn't drink and put it right here. Yeah. <laughs> he said uh, this, he is, this is where I always put my healthy drink at. Oh, we need to put like a little Tanner's uh, house And here. it's got all kinds of other connection things too. Actually, I don't even know what That's this... just one of those extra straps. It's just... I'm just going <laughs> to... Whatever. It's got so much. It's got these little... It does, it does come with a lot. Also, it came with... Um, which I got my extra straps in here and I was getting ready to put some more in here. Whoop. But it actually came with a little dog, a, a few, uh, two little dog dishes. <laughs> yeah. So you can give them, if you're on the road, you can stop, get some water, pour it in here, let them drink it. Um, I mean, if you carry their little food with them and they need to eat it out of the bowl. Yeah, and the extra straps are well, in there. I'll put that back. Okay. And then it's got another pocket in the front, which I think came with like a, what, a carrier or something. I mean, I think it's a. Handles, I think it came with like a rain. Rain cover. A rain cover. Was. Yeah, it came with and some rain covers and stuff. And stuff. Yes. I don't. I think it might. I, I'm not sure, but I There's was. I thought this was supposed to be waterproof. And another little pocket. I'm not sure. Actually, I have some more straps that go in there. So the straps that I prefer. Oops, that I bought. Yeah, that's how you suffocate your dog if you need to. <laughs> you get on your nerves. <laughs> okay, I'll fold all this. And then this just looks like maybe all the straps are supposed to go in this actually. Just a little zipper bag. What do you think, Tanner? Are you are you embarrassed of riding this bike? I'm checking checking out the tires, making sure they're up to spec. Our dog's just a little bit spoiled. Just a wee bit. I think he likes riding on the Moto Guzzi better, but actually I don't know if that's true. He might like being up higher, honestly, on this bike. Yeah. Tanner, if you but pee on my tire, buddy, it's game fashion. on. Look. <laughs> I know. Actually, these tires do wear down fast, these stock ones. Uh, seem like they have, and they ain't even done too much on. But, uh... But pretty much same setup when we, we just switch it over to the other bike. And the... Yeah. All right. You want to put him in there? Okay. He'll get mad. Our dog does not like being picked up, but he knows what we're doing. And um, he still don't like it. He gets mad at me. <laughs> the way I, I, I put him in, I unzip this whole thing. I'm going to put him in. Yeah. You got his leather leash? Because I keep his walking leash on him while he's in while he's in here you turn this upside down heaven to the this other side's padded so it's more comfortable yeah it's got this thing you can take out to clean this one side is it's kind of like soft kind of feeling but actually a thing i'm thinking about doing is like if i am going on a longer trip tanner doesn't normally like to get down in here but we're uh I might like, he likes to wrap up in a blanket, so I might put him down in a blanket. You want to set him in there? Just so they can kind of get a idea. Oh, you're right. <laughs> oh. You like riding. He does. He likes riding, he just don't like being picked up. Yeah. Say, I don't like doing stuff without, you know, doing you it shake. myself. Shake. Shake. Don't you ignore me. You shake. Shake. He's trying to lift his hand up his... Shake. Shake. Give me your paw. You're embarrassing me, Tanner. Paw. <laughs> okay. High five? He's like, he's like, I ain't doing it. Not up here. Can you stand? Can you stand? Nah, he, little, he don't want to because it's kind of... Well, you got to realize he's kind of leaning right now since I'm not on the bike. Oh, yeah. It's... But, uh... It's parked. Here, you kind of get an idea. I mean, he's he's a good sized pup. I mean, he's 12 or 13 pounds, but he has a really long body. And you can see he has all kinds of room. Yeah. Which normally, this ain't the leash I have him on. Yeah, we just had him on that. Just if, you, if your dog is a dog that doesn't need a leash and stays with you, doesn't chase after like squirrels and stuff, 
then he's bred to hunt, so he likes to just chase. So we have to. Then you you're in luck because have you on a leash, don't then you ain't got to carry another leash with you. You just have this little thing in here, and you do good. That's all you got to worry about. And then this just goes over him, and his head just goes through there, and yep. And it's like hard material, so <laughs> you're freaking him out. Oh, whoops. oh head through. So you're good boy. <laughs> he knows the drill. Good boy. He's like he's like, are we getting ready to go on a ride? <laughs> he he's like, yeah. Uh, he's he's getting used to it. He knows. He loves mm -hmm. car rides, and he'd ride the side by side, and he loves that. If your dog likes traveling and going places with you, and you ride a bike a lot, yeah, I think this is a. And if you know, you got a small dog. Actually, I was on Amazon. I seen that they have a new one for a bigger dog. I think like up to thirty or thirty-five pounds. It's more oh, wow. expensive. But I don't know the details. I think it sits up taller though, mm -hmm. like. I think the dog would sit more, like, upright in it, you know. See, once he's in here, he's good. He's yeah, and he's a long dog, so, even though even though he's not a heavy dog. But anywho, that's our very um, unorganized uh, description of Tanner's gear. Actually, he's got a helmet and goggles. Um, coming tomorrow, Yeah, maybe? hopefully coming in soon, so... But actually, his eyes are protected though. When he sit, when he sits behind me, I block the wind off because I've always I check and try to make sure he's doing okay. Um, but his eyes so far look pretty good. That's the that's the biggest thing is just making sure that they're not like getting wind and dust in their eyes. Yeah. But where he sits, you know, like I said, directly behind me, so far he's been okay. The goggles will just be extra, mm -hmm. extra pr protection layer of protection for the future. So because yeah, some dogs like. I don't, I don't know how well he'll like the goggles and helmet, but we'll try. The helmet that we're getting for him is ECE rated for dogs. Um, Isn't that just something? I'm joking. <laughs> I made that up. I was like, <laughs> I was like are you legit? <laughs> I don't know. what Which looks better? The Husky or the Dotson? <gasps> oh. Tell me, Tanner, which looks better? Husky or Dotson? <gasps> you gotta say Dotson. He just acts like he ain't amused. Yeah, he's he's like, like, we're just sitting here. We ain't even going nowhere. I know. He's like, what? Anyway, yeah, I forgot. I'm going to throw in a few little measurements here. Um, can you do it? Jeez. Can't, <laughs> can't hold the camera and do it. Measure it front to back and side to side. Okay. It is inside about 21 inches. Um, okay. So you got about... 21, maybe a little more, because that's not very exact, Kevin, the way yeah, you did and that. And 13. 13. 13 front to back. But you got to realize, like, measure my bike, like, the seat. This bike does not have much of a... <laughs> this is what this seat is literally sitting on. It, but that's why it's... These straps are vital. You have these, stra these straps even, tightened down evenly on both sides. You know, keep that weight of the bag center, and then, you know... Uh, then your bungee strap or whatever strap you use in the back. More straps. I use two just for this to be safe. Try to. But uh, he, uh, you, you should be fine. It ain't going to take much bike for this to fit on. As long as you have a tie, some kind of tie-down point or something to put on there. But anyways, that's it. Parents are rolling in, so I'm out. Peace. Say bye, Tanner. Say bye. Woo! There you go. And actually, we're uh, <clears throat> geared up to go on a ride right now. A problem I have, actually, though, with this bag is uh, Tanner likes to put his paws up on the front, and he pulls down on this bag. So I'm going to make, like, maybe some little, uh, just something rigid in here and put it in the corners to make sure that he doesn't wear this bag down too fast over time, you know? But, <clears throat> yeah, that's it. It's the Kiriakin Pet Palace. It's part of Tanner's arsenal of riding gear. And uh, I'm getting ready to go for a ride. So, like, sub. Have a good one. Peace.